And I said before I even get to the venue, because, uh, well, I live life and I pay attention. What? Uh, well, I need two meetup events this week. The first uh, one was a, a Zoom meeting. I, I guess it's actually for uh, writing. And uh, I said, well, I, I couldn't think of any ghost stories. That's what they wanted to do this week. But when they said open mic, it's like, well, I still think of it as stage time. And they said, well, uh, read whatever you want. It's like, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, I'll pick up, I just need Halloween memories. And one of them was uh, wearing this costume uh, from the screen movies. Uh, no, I'm not wearing the mask because it's too hard to see with it on. Uh, but uh, I know there was one time I was at a Halloween party and I was wearing this costume and then the uh, picture got shared on Facebook and then somebody said that I was a nihilist. And then I had to look up what that meant and it, it's somebody who doesn't believe in anything. It's like, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> I mean, somebody tried to guess my costume as Igor and it's like, well, yeah, I guess I can see that. Uh, but uh, I still think of it as, it almost looks like a little black dress if I didn't have the hood on. Uh, like if I was going to be uh, acting on uh, the Flintstones because of the way the sleeves uh, and the uh, bottom of uh, the costume looks like. The, uh, the triangles on it. Uh, and then, uh, I know there was uh, other times where I wore this costume and then uh, my uh, stepfather who is well, not the uh, brightest crayon in the box. He said, oh, scary movie. And it's like, yeah, that's spoofing scary movies like Scream. Uh, and I know another Halloween memory I shared in that Zoom meeting was uh, about being a uh, patron at a haunted house. Of course, they uh, try different things to keep people interested while they're waiting to go inside. And at one of them I went to when I was still living in suburban Chicago many years ago, uh, they have an actor uh, going by, uh, start up a chainsaw and then uh, cutting the motor, motor right away. And it's like, hmm, yeah, that might scare some people, but not me. My dad had chainsaws as, when I was a kid. I know what they sound like. But, uh, well, haunted houses, I think the target audience is to scare teenage girls. That's like shooting fish in a barrel. And I remember walking through and I would just say, hi, hi. Yeah, you tried to scare me, but you didn't. Uh, maybe because I've already weathered a lot in life, and uh, it's hard to say what will still scare me. Uh, so yeah, meetup event number two. Uh, it uh, was over the weekend, unlike the Zoom meeting, which was midweek. And we did a lantern tour at the landing in Shakopee. Uh, and I was describing it to somebody when I was on my way there as a history type place, and it's like, yeah, Preservation Village. I had been there once before for a Civil War weekend with that Abe Lincoln impersonator. Yeah, I guess they do have more than just Elvis Presley impersonators. Who knew? Uh, but, uh, you know, at the landing, it was a the lantern tour, and it's like, well, I hadn't done anything like that before. I, I guess that was kind of cool. And I liked how the lantern, uh, it started flickering only at the end of the event. So it's like, yeah, uh, they gave us a pretty good candle if it lasted that entire time. But unfortunately, I'm going to remember for getting annoyed with an older man who was trying hard to be funny with a tour guide uh, cracking jokes. And you know, later on, uh, I, I mean, right after one of the jokes didn't land, he admitted that it was a pun. And it's like, yeah, I felt like going ape shit on him and saying, dude, I actually do stand up comedy, and you'll have to do better than just puns. But uh, I knew what I was up against early on when he tried to pass off uh, common knowledge in history as privileged information. And it's like, mm, yeah, we weren't on the same page. We weren't even in the same chapter. That was another case of where I could have said, hmm, I majored in history. Hmm, hey, how much did you study? Or did you just study from a matchbook? But I know well enough for cooler heads to prevail. So it's like, all right, choose your battles carefully. Uh, I don't know uh, why I uh, go to some events where I know I might get annoyed with people. It's almost like uh, what somebody said one time about why they keep certain people on Facebook friends. I've got jokes to write. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> All right, two food stories. First one, uh, I uh, wanted a sandwich and uh, I noticed that uh, I was going past a Jersey Mike's and it's like, yeah, I'm stopping here. Why is that? Because they've had a lot of TV ads lately with Dana Vito. And it's like, yeah, Dana Vito's cool, so I'll give it a chance. And I even went in, and uh, when uh, the employee was taking my order, uh, he said, well, how are things going tonight? And I uh, 
said, I was on my way to an event, and I said, thank you, Danny DeVito. And he said, yeah, he always wished that Danny would come visit their shop, but that wasn't going to happen because he's a New York guy. I looked it up on Wikipedia when I got home. Actually, he's a Jersey guy, which kind of made sense why he'd do <laughs> a TV ad for a sandwich shop. You wouldn't think that Danny DeVito would do uh, TV commercials, but he did. I guess uh, this is the one that uh, fit his interest well enough. And I also like that part about how uh, dinner and a show, and it's like, yeah, you're an actor, you gotta put that one in there. Uh, I know some places they don't like hearing about the TV ads, but in this case, I came because of that, because uh, they don't have a lot of locations, I'm not gonna seek out unless I know about it, I guess that's why they call it advertising. Uh, yeah, good sandwich. Um, and then uh, food event number two. Uh, I was at Mall of America uh, this weekend uh, because uh, I wanted Dairy Queen Blizzard and uh, I know they have a Dairy Queen there. And uh, after that, I uh, noticed that in the rotunda they had all these uh, people in uh, nice outfits dancing. And one of them was Colonel Sanders, Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I had to have a picture of that. I guess he was in the Halloween spirit. Uh, well, I know tomorrow is All Saints Day. My mom would always tell me about All Saints Day when I was a kid. I don't know why. We are Presbyterian. Uh, our church doesn't recognize that holiday, Mom. I should skewer her more often. I have more of a beef with her than Dick. They're both pretty bad parents, though. Must explain why I'm performing. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I guess that'll do for me. Thank you both been great. This kid goes into a CVS pharmacy, goes up to the pharmacist, and he says, Hey, I've been dating this girl a long time. She's really hot. And things are going really well, I think. I think tonight might be the night. So I'd like to buy a box of condoms. And the, the uh, pharmacist says, Sure, that'll be $10 and some tax. Kid pays the money and then uh, heads out. That evening, when he goes to uh, see his girlfriend at dinner, he uh, walks to the house and they sit down for dinner and uh, the mother says, why don't we lead us in grace? And so the kid leans over and starts praying and it goes, it goes on and on and on and on and the girl leans over and she's like, you never told me you were this religion, religious. And he said, you didn't tell me that your dad was a pharmacist at CBS. <laughs> <laughs> on stage next, put your hands together for our next performer. Jumbo! I applied for euthanasia this week, but uh, they turned me down, so I'm back to selling jokes. <laughs> 